Danny Acosta here with Joe Leonidas Henny. Joe, you have a fight coming up here. It's the same day as Mark Munoz's fight in Chicago. Uh, tell us about it. Uh, it's from January 28th for California Fight Syndicate. I'm fighting uh, Hector Carrillo. He's a wrestler kid with a uh, big right hand, so it should be a fun test. I'm really excited for it. Uh, it's pretty interesting, your career, the, the trajectory it's been on, because you started out really early in the UFC, and it seems you've had to come back and do some rebuilding. Uh, what's that process been like for you? Uh, it's, it's been good. You know, when I, when I made the show, I wasn't really seasoned enough to be a UFC fighter, you know, and at the time, you don't really know. You get on the show, you're just really excited, and, uh, you know, I got the opportunity to come down here and train with Mark when he was getting ready for Okami and loved it, you know, and I realized how unready I was, you know, and so now through almost two years of training down here, working with the guys, getting into the specific levels and the training with the tops, you know, Mark Munoz, Jake Ellenberger, Jay Silva, Brett Cooper, you know what I mean? You constantly get an inflow of these monsters and it breeds monsters, you know what I mean? We talk a lot like iron sharpens iron, you know, we're always helping each other out. So it's been a good maturation project, process and I'm really looking forward to, to really showing some more skills to people. You know, not to uh, jump ahead past your opponent here, but uh, what's your goal here uh, with fighting in organizations? Are you looking to Bellator? Are you looking to go to Japan and Dream? Or is the UFC still the goal? You know, it, to, to be honest, the UFC is the ultimate goal. You know, I'd love to fight for anybody. Anybody that wants to go, I'm down. But the UFC is a goal. The UFC is where everybody really wants to be. You know, it's just hard to get in. You know, you're, it's, it's invitation only party, you know, so you really got to, you know, you got to impress the right people. You got to get on a winning streak that they like and they got to know you and I mean, to be honest, a lot of times if somebody gets hurt, you know, somebody goes down in your area and they're like, oh, hey, well, that guy's ready and we know him, you know. So it, it really just buying time. And, you know, I've had a couple of organizations. MFC said they wanted to see me get more wins. I'm like, OK, 501. I mean, I, I, I can understand that, so I can't be mad at them. But, you know, it's hard to find fights for me because I get a lot of guys that are either, you know, I, I'll get a good opponent, but they don't want to pay anything. And, you know, I'm not like everybody. I'm not just fighting because I like fighting and hitting people in the face and rah, rah, rah. Like, I'm trying to make some money, you know, just like everybody else. So, you know, if I'm going to fight somebody good, I want to be paid adequately for it. And I'm not talking UFC money, you know what I mean? But it's just hard to find that. And a lot of promoters are like, ah, no, you know, they always just try to squeeze every little bit out of you. So, yeah, you know, that's, I got a good manager, Bryce, uh, for Royal Sports Management. He does a really good job for me, and he's always looking out for my best interests. So, you know, when the time comes for everything to, to build upon, it'll – come when it needs to. Yeah, it's understandable. You're trying to be a professional. Um, with that said, you know, what are you looking for here? What, what's the biggest improvement that you've made uh, that when Joe Silva calls, you know that you're going to be ready? For me, it's my hands. I feel so much more comfortable um, sparring with these guys. You know, it's, you know, I, you, you, wrestling and jiu-jitsu used to be my base. And when you come to a place where you can't take guys down, you know, you have to learn to adapt. You have to learn to use your hands and feet better. And so for me, it's funny that I come to a grappling-based gym and now I feel like I'm a better striker than I've ever been. You know, so for me, that's the biggest maturation process from my training and everything that's gone through is that I totally feel comfortable on my feet. And, you know, my wrestling is going to be on point because that's, I mean, we do that so much. But I, I feel like my hands and my feet and my striking have come along the most. What can fans expect from you on the 28th and also in 2012? Uh, a lot of fights and I'm... I'm going to blast through people. I, I intend to wreck people. You know, I've, I've, been, I've been on a submission tear up to now, but now I want to hurt people. So this should be the year for blood. We're going to go get it. Leonidas.